Do you want an excuse to not go home this Christmas? Then fly Northwest Airlines. At Northwest Airlines, thousands of employees are dedicated to delaying and canceling flights so you won't get home for the holidays. No way I'm getting you on your connecting flight. No way we're taking off on time. Don't worry, I'm taking this flight back to the gate. Do you think Jeff will make it home this year? No way, because Jeff flew Northwest. Thanks, Northwest. I hate my family. Oh, that looks great. You know, I think this is going to be our best Christmas ever. Yeah, but don't get your hopes up, Lois. I couldn't afford to get you what I got you last year. I know how you like that song, so I got you two turtle doves. Where'd you get these? I went to a scientist and had them genetically engineered. Fly, beautiful turtle doves. Bring Christmas cheer to all. <laughs> Everybody outside! We'll do the rest of Christmas outside! Go, go, go! Look, Stewie, I'm hanging the ornament you made at preschool. Just hang it up. Why do you have to narrate everything you do? Peter, you want to put the star on top of the... Wait, wait, hang on, hang on, Lois. I always wanted to do this. Wait a second. It's coming. There it is! Huh? Eh, it's something, but you still got a leftover R. This was hard! I did this for you! This one's my favorite ornament. I could only imagine what it must have been like for them on that very first Christmas. Yeah, it was probably very moving. And fictional. Jesus lived with us for like a week. What else do you need? It's the greatest story ever told, Meg. A story that goes back over a hundred years. Yay! Star Wars! Now, Chris, it's the story of Christmas and the Immaculate Conception. You guys were born the dirty way. Now gather around, everybody, and hear the awe-inspiring tale that's caused millions and millions of deaths. Many years ago, there was a hard-working young carpenter named Joseph. And one day, Joseph and his friend Robbie were hanging... A guy's name was Robbie back then? The Bible is fuzzy on that. Anyway, Joseph and Robbie were hanging out one day when this happened. So I went to see that new Oedipus play last week. Took my mother. Talk about an awkward ride home. Barely got a good night kiss. Hey, Joseph, check it out. Oh, my God, look at that body. Can't you just imagine her standing on people's front lawns inside a cut-in-half bathtub? You should go talk to her and see if she can talk. Uh, hi. I'm... I'm Joseph. Oh, hello. I'm Mary. Listen, um, I was wondering if you'd like to go out sometime. Well, sure. That sounds nice. You know, there's a beautiful spot outside of town where they dump all the foreskins. You can sit on top and watch the sunset. Oh, great. Maybe we could slaughter a lamb and light it on fire so that it rains? Well, let's not go too fast. Listen, I'll see you later, okay? I've got to go sit in a circle with the other women and stare off into the fields. All right, you got a date. Yeah, just hope it goes better than my last one. Wow, Joseph, that was great. Yeah, I gotta say, I'm a little disappointed. When you said I could do you in your mud hut, I thought you meant something else. And so Mary and Joseph began their courtship. But even after several dates, Joseph couldn't get to first base. Not just because Mary was a virgin, but because baseball would not be invented for 1,800 years and nobody knew what the hell he was talking about. You know, this is the same picnic basket we drowned my sister in. It was back when they were like, drown all the girls, and then they were like, don't drown all the girls. But she was born on a drowning week, so, you know. Achoo! Oh, look at that. There's hardly any blood. You're very healthy. Well, I try to take care of myself. Joseph, this is the most fun I've had in a while. That's good. That's good. Pull your pants down. What? Come on, this is our seventh date. It's completely natural. Birds do it. Bees do it. Dinosaurs, whom we live alongside, do it. Joseph, I can't. People will talk. So what? They'll talk in Aramaic. Do you understand that? I don't. Look, you're very sweet, but I have to save myself. For who? There's only 30 people in the whole world, and you're related to half of them. I can't believe how hard you're making me work. Well, I do have a very good virginity coach. No, no, no. Okay, I think I got it. How's this? No, no, no. No, no, no. Look, I can't explain it, but something is telling me to wait. Something deep, deep inside of me. Stop talking like that or I swear to God I'm going to Pompeii all over this blanket. Oh, you're silly. Come on, let's just watch the show. <laughs> wow, she's really getting it. Yeah, I know that girl. That's Donna Magdalene, and her sister's a bigger slut than she is. 